Hemorrhoids may be intermittently symptomatic, and therefore endoscopic appearance may vary. Endoscopically, hemorrhoids may be visualized by active bleeding, hemorrhoidal ulceration or erosion, or they may show prominent capillaries or hyperemia. Standard medical recommendations for hemorrhoids are to add dietary fiber and fluids in order to bulk in stool and avoid straining. Over-the-counter topical agents and suppositories are used empirically. Additional treatment aims to optimize anal hygiene. Patients are also advised to avoid increased risk of bleeding by eliminating blood thinning agents. The goals of endoscopic or surgical hemorrhoidal therapy are to reduce mucosal prolapse by removing excess tissue or by inducing secondary fibrosis, as well as obliterate venous plexus. Various anoscopic and endoscopic treatments for internal hemorrhoids that are refractory to medical therapy are available. They include band ligation, coagulation therapy with heater, or gold probe or bicap therapy, injection sclerotherapy, infrared coagulation, cryotherapy, and radiofrequency ablation. This educational DVD will focus on endoscopic treatment with band ligation and coagulation therapy with gold probe, as well as anoscopic therapy with injection sclerotherapy and infrared coagulation. These treatments should not be performed in patients who are immunocompromised, have rectal prolapse, inflammatory bowel disease diagnosis, anal or rectal carcinoma, portal hypertension, coagulopathy, or thrombocytopenia. Treatment of pregnant or immediate postpartum patients must be approached with great caution. Endoscopic band ligation is a well-established, safe, and effective technique for grades 1 to 3 hemorrhoids.